Good evening, viewers, and it's a huge pleasure that you're watching 30 Minutes with Edmond Safari. Now, Rotary in Uganda recently launched the fifth annual Rotary Run, in, and in studio with us is a representative from the Rotary Cancer Run 2016, Dennis Joko. Good evening and welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you, Edmond. Good evening. And tell us more about yourself and the organization. Yeah, as you said, my name is Dennis Juko. I'm a Rotarian from mm. the Rotary Club of Kampala Naria. Mm. I'm also on the committee organizing the Rotary Council Run 2016. Uh, this is our fifth edition uh, where we come together, we run, we raise money uh, to fight cancer. Mm. Yeah, Rotary does a lot of other things, a lot of other work, a lot of other projects, but this is one of the signature projects we do as a country. Mm. Uh, what you find is that every little, every club, they do their own projects, but this is national, this is big, every club, every club in the country is involved. So, uh, the whole country is involved in the, one the event? The whole country is involved in one event. All now, of us are focusing on the cancer run. Now, talking about Rotary, yeah. now how did you join Rotary first and foremost? Um, a friend of mine five years ago invited me to join. He told me then you always want to be a Rotarian. There was a club being set up in Nadia. And then he asked me, why don't you come and you can check it out? So we went there, so people, I didn't know them. I'd always wanted to serve, but I also wanted to meet people. Because mm. I thought that Rotary has all these rich people, these big people. Mm. So I, I wanted to meet them. There was, I'm a consultant, in, uh, I'm a, a communication consultant. So I said, maybe if you meet these people, you make money. You do mm. business with them and that kind of stuff. But also I've always wanted to serve. Um, I come from a family that serves. So it was not, not in Rotary necessarily, but that serves throughout the country. So mm. that was an inspiration for me. So what value do you get, at, do you attain from being a Rotarian? Uh, quite a lot because you, you see you can go out there and help people. Mm. When we go to the camps, when we go out there, we're building, my club is building a school in Akwanga Hills. Probably you've never heard of it, 400 kilometers from here in Agago district. Uh, Agago district. Yeah, we went there, kids were sleeping on the floor. Mm -hmm. You know, you get touched and say, I have some little money I can save and give it out to Rotary. And you know that in Rotary, your money is safe. Mm -hmm. It's cheaper than Dennis Joko starting his own foundation mm -hmm. where you can do your, where you can do that. So we combine, we do that work together and build um, uh, and support others. Mm -hmm. So for me, I see the value. Uh, I was helped by people who were not supposed to help me. Uh, helping me, giving me money, giving me accommodation. Some are my relatives, but I'm not supposed to do that. Mm. If I can't stay with my brother, he doesn't have an obligation to stay there, uh, that I should stay there. But if he helps me and if I can help somebody else, mm. uh, that's really why I do this. Now, this Rotary Cancer Run yeah. 2016, mm. tell us more about this course and what we should expect in the most anticipated run of the year. Yeah, um, first of all, expect uh, hope, expect fun. Ex uh, it's a run. We want to raise money, but we still want to have fun at the end of the day as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we also want to raise hope for people. You know, cancer kills a lot of people. Uh, people, when they get cancer, they think they're going to die, mm -hmm. uh, and majority die. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason th that we are really excited about. But as you know, this is the first time. Mm -hmm. in Uganda, that mm -hmm. we are running throughout the country. Running throughout the yeah, whole country? Yeah, it's not going in Kololo. Uh, yes. Kololo is for Kampala. Mm -hmm. But we are running in Entebbe, we are running in Masaka, Mbarara, Kabale, Chihihi, Bushenyi, Kasese, Arua. Uh, we will go to Guru, we will go to Lira, Soroti, Tororo, and come to uh, Yiganga, and then Jinja. You know, the whole country on Sunday 28th is going to be focused on one thing. Running. Running. Wow. Yeah. Now, how productive or effective have the previous cancer runs been in creating change? Uh, we've, uh, we've started in the first three runs, mm. we built a cancer center mm. in Zambia. That cancer center is operational. Mm. It's 36 bed. If you go right there now, they are working. Mm. In the fourth run, we built, last year, we built a rotary blood bank. The second one in the country. Uganda has always had one blood bank. In Nakasero. In Nakasero. Yes. We are building, we've built, the building is up, mm. the equipment is coming in, we've built the second one. Mm. But blood and cancer are related as well because you treat cancer in a lot of blood. Mm. Uh, so we've done that. The, 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 now in the fifth run, 
we want to be able to buy a very modern machine. We mm. call it, it's called a linear accelerator. Mm. It's a very modern cancer treatment mm. uh, equipment that actually isolates only the part that affected and treats that. So it doesn't have those side effects that you get with the normal treatment that's on the market. Mm. And that machine is not here. When people fly out to go for cancer treatment in India, US, and all these other places, th that's the same machine they, uh, they, 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 they go out to, they, they use. So we want to bring it here. We want to bring it in Uganda. So that people who are affected by cancer, who are suffering from cancer, don't need to fly out. Because the majority can't afford it. But when it's here, everybody will be able to afford uh, Wait, treatment. Wait, you said that that machine is the first of its kind in Uganda. It will be the first of its kind when we import it. Right now, it's not there. So we need $4 million, about $13.5 billion mm -hmm. shillings, to buy it, uh, build a bank for it in Zambia, and, and, and train staff and all those kind of things. And it's a lot of money, but we shall do it. Yes. Uh, yeah, we will definitely do it. So uh, it's a very, very important that people go out and run, go out, buy tickets, get into your kit, run. But also for me, the cancer run is personal. I've lost, I lost an uncle, I lost an aunt to cancer. So, but I also know that cancer, if diagnosed early, can be, can be treated. Okay. Uh, we actually, uh, our friend, our, the chair of this cancer run is a cancer survivor. Wow. And there are so many other people. So we want to give people that hope. Uh. And if we have that machine here, we'll be able to do it. Now we, this week, We've had awareness uh, camps, mm -hmm. medical camps. Uh, today we are in Kawala, uh, in Kisenyi, sorry. Kisenyi. Kawala okay. was the other day. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow we shall be in Kasokoso. There's a school called St. Mary's. Mm -hmm. And then on, sat on Saturday uh, we'll have in Barara. There's a rotary house. We shall have a medical uh, camp there. People are free to come and get tested, breast cancer, cervical cancer, and that kind of stuff. So we are raising a lot of awareness about cancer. So it's not just about the machine, but also the cancer. And now if you buy your ticket, 20,000 shillings from Payway, from uh, all these other outlets with that are selling, Game Store, Centenary Bank, you'll be able to go to Nakasero Hospital and get a mammogram check. Well, for free. free. It's part of that 20,000. Wow. So lots of opportunities to, to run, lots of opportunities to go out and get free treatment. Maybe, to free maybe uh, for my viewers, I need you to tell them what a mammogram uh, is all about. <laughs> I'm not a doctor, but I know it's um, an equipment. Uh, it's something that uh, people, especially ladies, uh, it can help them to, 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 even men, by the way, they suffer breast, breast cancer, mm -hmm. cancers. So it can help them to get um, uh, screened and if they have a problem, they can get on treatment. What you're doing is so commendable. But there's so many diseases affecting Ugandans. Mm. Malaria, they would say it's one of the killer diseases. Mm. HIV. Mm. Uh, so many other diseases, mm. but why cancer? Uh, cancer because it's a very uh, expensive disease to treat. Malaria, you know, if you go to a public hospital, the drugs are there. If you sleep in a hospital net, easy to fight it, and 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 and, and, and the drugs are available. Mm. Things are available, but cancers are killing people. Actually, more and more people are getting diagnosed with cancer. So how do we? support them how do we help them uh, our idea is let's have some let's give people hope because today if you have a relative and they're diagnosed with cancer and you don't have money to fly them to india or nairobi or the us or uk or south, or south africa, africa mm. you, you you give them up you yes. say these guys are going to die mm. so we don't have to do that we actually believe that cancer is can be we can the time can can come and it's like polio it's not existence mm. because if people are aware they go for screening, Check. they go for checkups, they can actually be able to ensure that they are cancer free. Yeah, that's very possible. And those who get cancer, if you, because if you go, if you know early and you go for treatment, you can absolutely overcome it. Rotarian, uh, what is that you seek to gain from this year's run? Uh, this year's run, uh, we want to raise more awareness mm -hmm. about cancer. It's number one. It's very important. Mm -hmm. Then we want to buy a cancer machine, mm -hmm. the linear accelerator I talked about. It's a very modern machine. It's very expensive, but you can have it here. And you can only have it here if everybody 
comes together and we run together. Mm. If you can't come to Kampala, run in all those towns that we mentioned. Mm. Throughout the country, there are runs, the people are running, everybody is supporting, everybody is coming up. Mm. So there's no other opportunity. Sunday, those who go to church, please go in the afternoon. Mm. Come in the morning, we run, and then you can be able to, um, to fight this business. Uh, I remember when we were, the government was building, uh, bringing up a, uh, that thing, the, the Lina machine you're talking about, he talked about the bank. Have you gotten it as well? Uh, the money we are raising will be able to build a banker mm. at Insambia. We have a center there, but this doesn't have a bank. Mm. So, but we want to build a bank there. They have given, Insambia has been kind enough to give us the land where we build the bank. So once we raise the money we need, we'll be able to build the bank, we'll be able to import the machine, we'll be able to train the doctors. We'll be able to do the things that uh, people in other countries do. And we can do it together. Uh, that, that's the beauty of Rotary. We can do it together and bring that machine here. Uh, we've done it before, not by bringing in the machine, but we've been able to build a ward, we've been able to build a blood bank. This is possible. So th now that the fact that you have that hope, that belief that it's possible, yeah. from your perspective as the organizing committee, mm. what percentage are we there to get that, that machine here? Um, I can't tell because Today, when I was in the studio here, before mm. we started, I received a phone call mm. from a company that wants to give us money. Mm. So, lots of companies are coming. Uh, tomorrow, in fact, from 7 a.m., I'm just going to be receiving money mm. uh, from people. I can't tell because also the money we raise, we use some of it to organize. Mm -hmm. So, um, but we will be able, after the run, to come back here. Uh, or to have a press conference and tell people this is the money we've raised, mm. this is the money that is going to do this. Uh, Rotary is a very accounting, uh, self-accounting organization. In fact, the only organization, not the only, but once you put your hand in the tail, you are no longer Rotary. Mm. So in Rotary, we really emphasize accountability. And uh, the things are there for people to see. As you are getting these fundraisers, getting awareness for these uh, camps, for this run, what's the feedback out there? Uh, the feedback, uh, a, friend, a colleague of mine was on, on radio yesterday, this morning I think, and people are calling in from all over the country and said, you guys are doing a great job. We want to do more. I can't run, I want to give money. Mm. If you go to game store where we, are, we, we, we have a collection center or at the payway center, you're going to find all the people turning up to run and they thank you and say thank you so much this is something mm. i've lost a relative i have a relative who is sick i'm giving hope i survived the cancer uh, new vision has been kind enough to give us space every monday where they've been actually profiling people who have survived the cancer that mm. hope that people have it gives us uh, the beauty uh, the feeling that things will be done mm. but also when i go to zambia and i see the center when i go to mengo and i see the blood bank i'm like i was part of this Mm. Th 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 that's the hope. That's the thing I have. When my <laughs> friends call me and say, you are doing a great job. Mm. Yeah. Thank you very much. And when we'll be back from that commercial break, we shall continue with the conversation. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome from that commercial break. And as you are aware, we're talking about the fifth Rotary run that is due this coming weekend. And of course, I'm still talking to Rotarian Dennis Joko. I think you had an um, enjoyable break. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Now, some weeks ago, so I think one, two months ago, Ugandan is meant to be uh, a Rotary, Rotary, Rotary international president in the names Samuel from Bisha Owori yeah. of the Rotary Club of Kampala, Kampala yeah. effective October 1st. Mm. How significant is that? Uh, it's such a huge thing. Uh, Rotary has 1.3 million people. Worldwide? Worldwide. 1.3 million people. To have a Uganda to lead 1.3 million people, uh, Rotarian Owori is the second African to lead Rotary International. Mm. It's such a massive thing. We are all proud of him. We are all proud to be Rotarians. 
uh, I'm sure if you travel out of the country and meet Otarians, they will be uh, quickly, uh, they will be easy to note. Mm -hmm. But also it shows that the work we do here is getting recognized international. Mm -hmm. That we do, I think Uganda is one of the fastest growing um, Rotary countries or Rotary countries in the world. We have such a huge number of people who are coming up to serve. And these are young people, mm -hmm. not with that thing that they are rich, Mm. but people who are willing to give the little they have mm. to come and support. Mm. So, uh, and I think that the international community looks at it and say, uh, this is a good thing. But also, I don't know whether you've met him, he's a very humble person. He's somebody dedicated to this work. He's been a Rotarian from 1978. <laughs> I wasn't born yet <laughs> when he became one. But I it shows you the kind of commitment he has, but also it shows you that the kind of work is involved in. To, to come up and say we are going to raise four million dollars and buy a machine, a cancer machine and put it there. And not talking about it because we can go and demonstrate and say the government should do this and this. But mm. we are saying no, let's run, let's raise money and do this thing. And actually I wanted to ask you, mm. wh where does that initiative to have a Rotary run come from? Uh, five years ago people in Rotary uh, led by uh, past district governor Stephen Mwanje sat mm. down and said what can we do over breakfast. Mm. By the end of that breakfast they had come up with an idea. The next day they had got a major sponsor and they started, people started running. When the run started people didn't even have the kits that the people have now. Everybody mm. came in their little shirts and that kind of stuff. It was organized that game, Lugogo and it has evolved over time because the need is there to have uh, effective cancer treatment. Now mm. 44,000 Ugandans every year go to the Cancer Institute in Mulago. Even if they had two, three machines there, they cannot treat everybody. True. Now, a lot of people don't come to Kampala for treatment. They actually die thinking they've been bewitched. Mm. Yet it's cancers that are killing them. Mm. So actually we need a ma several machines in Mulago, in Zambia, Everywhere. Even up country. Up country, have mm. the regions. Every region should have at least a modern cancer treatment center. So that way our people stop dying of cancer. Mm. So that's the idea that brings us together to say, let's raise money. What's the best way to raise it? Run. But also, uh, you know, cancer is about fitness yes. as well. You know, physical exercise. Mm. So when we run, we raise awareness. People are exercising. A lot of people, when I've been driving through the suburbs, I find people running. Mm -hmm. I think they are anticipating it. let me do the 10 kilometers now let mm. me do the five let me do the 21 mm. so that kind of awareness is there the whole country is now focused on uh, cancer treatment how does one get to participate in this run simple get a ticket you can buy a ticket from any scenario bank branch mm. you can buy a ticket from payway machines anywhere in the country you can buy cafe javas when you go for your coffee edmond uh, seems like a, a person who goes for <laughs> coffee there you can get your ticket yes. there you can get a ticket from capital shoppers you can get a ticket from um the lottery office we have an office on the ninth ninth floor mm. of uh, nick building yes so tickets are on sale every year there they are they, they are in sale in Ubulange. we are in a partnership with the kingdom mm. uh, Mm. So uh, the run is really uh, you everywhere you can get a ticket. I have told people that this weekend we are running. Tell we're them running. when exactly and where. We are running on Sunday, 28th August. If you're in Kampala, the place is Kololo. Mm. Be there shortly before 7, maybe 30 minutes before 7. We do do you know we are going to do, uh, sorry, physical exercises. Yes. You're going to, to, to have chairs and all those guys. You do the physical, you do um, the aerobics, and then afterwards you can go in the route and run. Mm. And of course you can come back, the hospitality tents and that kind of stuff. You can have breakfast, you can have all those kind of things. Kampala, we are running there. Um, in, in the other places, in Tebe, Mbarara, Masaka, Kabale, um, Chihihi, Bushenyi, Kasese, Arua, Guru, Lila, Soroti, Toro, Igang, and Jinja. Be there, be, be in, in, go to those towns, go to those places before seven, get ready to run. Now, there is a growing perception among people, amongst, amongst our people, yeah. about Rotary. Mm. You see, um, we have young people out here, including my own self. Yeah. 
I want to serve, mm. but probably I don't have the money. Uh, I'm unemployed. How am I able to serve? There the are about three categories. Mm. If you are in secondary school, you can become an interactor. Mm. I was in an interact school in Matuga the other day. Mm. And what these guys are doing is that they, they can raise part of their pocket money mm. and be able to use that to help somebody. Yes. They can clean a school, they can wash cars for teachers and raise money. That's for interactors. Uh, we were in Namagunga yesterday and we shall be in Namugongo tomorrow. Mm. These students there, using their pocket money, have been able to buy tickets. Mm. 150 girls in Namagunga, mm. each saved 20,000 of their pocket money and they are running. Mm. But also we have Rotaractors yes. where you can join. If somebody like you could be in a Rotaract or Rotary. But also if you don't have a job, we have another project, a very important project called Rotary Vijana Power. Rotary? Vijana Power. Yes. Vijana Power is Swahili for youth are cool. Yes. So in that program, we are training people mm. to be able to find, to get jobs. Yes. So we are training people in carpentry, bricklaying, all those kind of jobs. Mm. If you know somebody who is not employed, give them to me, I'll train them. The next day they'll create jobs. In one second, your last words for our viewers. Uh, ladies and gentlemen cancer we can be able to buy a cancer machine and put it in zambia we can do it together if we all run get your ticket get your kit get ready to run let's run for hope let's run for cancer machine thank you very much and god bless you thank you now you have heard dennis joko talking about asking you to be part of the course you see a journey of 1000 miles starts with just one step and you have started it today now you want to always be a part of the change but you do not know how to be part of the chain. This is no better time to be part of it today, especially to your country. August 28th is the date that you will stand out and be counted for having contributed to the fight against cancer in Uganda. So on 28th of, of August, I'll be running with Dennis. I hope you'll be running too. See you. Bye.